Hi again, boys and girls. Welcome back to Online Sunday School. I'm Miss Jen. And I'm Miss Sydney. And we're going to keep going with our stories about Jesus. We have been talking about him since we talked to you last time and all year long. So this time I want to remind you before I forget, because I forgot last time, don't forget to watch the videos that are hooked up with this so that you can get the story. Even if you didn't get a chance to read it, you could watch the video. And there's always, you know, I put those fun, crazy songs on there for you. So those are always a fun time. So um, today's story is going to be about a centurion and Jesus. Now, you know about Jesus, right? Uh, he was a kind man. Uh, he was not like a powerful warrior, but he was a good, strong man. And you know Jesus was more powerful than anybody, but he wasn't that bully kind of guy. Now, a centurion is a Roman soldier. They dress up with all armor, and they're kind of very strong, and, you know, they're not exactly kind-hearted people. So the centurion and Jesus were not alike at all. They did not have a lot of things that they seemed to like, but deep down... They did have some things in common, and one of the things they had in common is they both liked to help people. So the centurion needed help, and he went to Jesus, and even though he was kind of a harsh man, Jesus still helped him because someone else needed to be healed. So Jesus knows what we need. He knows when we're sick, and he knows when we need to be healed. So you can find that story in... Matthew chapter 8, verses 5 through 13. I'm looking down here on my sheets because I can't rememberize anything. So, yes, find it in Matthew chapter 8, verses 5 through 13. Or if you are one of the younger kids, we did send you. You can also read it in the this little short story, The Centurion's Servants. It's very short, I promise you. It's only... One page. So, you can read it. You can have your grandparents read it to you, your mom, dad, brother, sister. But it's a good one. Okay, and we do have some activity pages for you, like usual. So, so for the older kids, we're going to have a little leaflet here, and it's got this Sudoku puzzle on here. I don't know if you've ever played Sudoku or Blockaduco, but you cut these pieces out, and you put them in there so that there's one of every kind in each row. Okay, and then also there's a little maze on there. And for the, the middle age kids, elementary, but not all the way to the youngest, I also have a page on here for you too, uh, talking about people that are healing and how you ask for help for people that are healing. So fun, fun activity page. And then for the little ones, we have some, you're gonna match with each of the helpers of Jesus with what they help with. So like a Band-Aid or a... Um, uh, a heartbeat thing, I don't know what they're called. Stethoscope? Yeah. Stethoscope. <laughs> and then you're going to also draw a picture of yourself and how you see yourself. And then you're going to put the sticker of Jesus because Jesus loves you for how you see you. Right on. Perfectly fun. And don't forget, we have collecting in those bags all your loose little change and dollar bills because we're trying to get that goat. We're going to get that goat. We're looking for horns this week, huh? Mm -hmm. Horns or legs? Let's see what we can get. Maybe both. Ooh. And then, last but not least, the invitation. It's coming up fast. So invite your friends. Come yourself. Well, it's almost to the end of Sunday school, so come on. <laughs> All righty. And we do have a game for you. Now, you know how I told you that the centurion and Jesus didn't have a lot in common, but still they were connected? We have a game called Connect Four. You might have that game at home with the checkers where you slide them in the slots and you try to get four in a row. We're sending you that game along like that. It's called Connect Four in a Row. And it's to help you remember that Jesus and the Centurion were connected no matter how different they are. So to show you how to play, Miss Sydney and I are going to play a little game. Mm -hmm. So, Miss Sydney, you want to be X's or O's? I'll be X's. You can go first. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go right here. Oh, I'm on to your little tricks. I'm blocking <laughs> you there. Well, you can't put down two, so I win either way. Oh! <laughs> Wait a minute! 
<laughs> that was way too fast. <laughs> Rats. I lost again. We're going to play this again. Mm -hmm. But we're going to have... Again. Again? Mm -hmm. That doesn't shock me. So before we get to playing again, let's all pray out together so Miss Sydney and I can go finish another game. And you can do it too. So we'll see you soon. Dear Lord, thank you so much for helping us out when we need help. Thank you for healing us when we're sick. And thank you for healing others when we ask. And Lord, help us remember that we're all connected through you and through your love. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen.